Next question, question 30. The age of Mr. X last year was the square of a number and it would be the cube of a number next year. What is the least number of years he must wait for his age to become the cube of a number again? So, it is given um, if his age was x, uh, age next year will be x1 and age previous year was x minus 1. It is given that this number is a perfect square and this number is a perfect cube. So, if you write down all the perfect cubes, uh, we will see 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8, 3 cube is 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 3, 27 and um, 4 cube is 4 into 4, 16, 16 into 4, 64, 64, 5 cube is 5 into 5, 25, 25 into 5, 125. So, <laughs> since age will be definitely less than 100, we don't have to consider up to this. Only these three numbers we need to consider. So, if you see, if you take 64, 64 minus 2, which is 60. Uh, 2 uh, is not a perfect square. So, that is not our number. You take 27. 27 minus 2 is 25. 25 is a perfect square. So, this is the number we need. So, his age will be currently 26 uh, and 27 which is the age of the number next year is a perfect cube. Cube of a number and uh, one number less that is 25 is a square of a number. So, this is the age we need. And it, it asks, what is the least number of year he must wait for his age to become the cube of a number again. So, next cube is 64. So, 64 uh, minus 26, that is his age. 26, if you take 14, 5, 14 minus 6 is uh, 8, 38. So he must, his, this is the current age and he must wait 30, 38 years to reach 64 which is a cube of another, cube of a number. So he has to wait 38 years. So solution to question 30 is B, 38.